Okay, everybody, it's time. Let's get to it. I, too, am a little confused and need some clarity about this Ryan's Roses. So let me get Zoe on. And Downey, it's time for Ryan's Roses. Zoe, good morning. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, so good morning. Yeah. We got your email. You say, hey, guys, I found something my husband posted anonymously on a Facebook group for men who are having affairs. What's yeah. I don't understand. For men who are looking to have affairs, men who are talking about the affairs they're having, like what kind of group? I don't know. It seems like men that are having affairs that want to talk about how their affairs are going. It's so weird. So I sharing really, stories about their affairs together? Yeah. Like yeah, gossiping like, oh, about hey, the man, affairs they're oh having. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Like, I've been having an affair for two years, like, or whatever, however many months. It's like a... Are they bragging about like it? Or are they comp- therapy group. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like sharing stories and testimonials so, about their affairs. So I'm just really freaked out. Because how did you I find just, out it was your not husband? A if he's an- I wanted to find. But if he's anonymous, how do you know it's your husband? Mm-hmm. Because his laptop was open and the notifications were coming up. And I didn't want to see it. It was just like right in front of my face. And I don't, you know... I don't have real evidence, but I do have the notifications on his computer, on his laptop, that he was, you know, people were commenting and writing about it uh, from his okay. post. Is there anybody else that uses that laptop? No. Gotcha. All right, listen. Zoe, we know what to do. Just hold on one second, okay? We're going to come back, make the Ryan's Roses call, and find out what the deal is. Ryan's Roses, the call right now. Uh, Zoe, I want to go back real quick before we try and call your husband. You said that you found your husband posted anonymously on a Facebook group for men who are having an affairs page. What did he post? What was the post? Um, the post was um, he. I, I don't know. It was just that. It was just the Facebook, and he wrote, "It's been going on for two years." I'm sorry, I'm right. finding it. It's been going on for two years. My wife has no idea. It makes me sick to my stomach. The weird thing is I will never leave my wife. The affair will run its course eventually, but right now I'm the happiest wow, so I've ever been. so he's already okay. premeditated how this is going to go. Got it. All right. my Everybody's heart sinks with you That's read that. a lot. So, Zoe, um, this is a page where men are sharing stories about the affairs they're having. That's what we've learned. Your husband, you found out, is on there. Even though he's anonymous, you saw his laptop. I need you to say, Ryan, you my permission to call and then his name. Go ahead. have my permission to call you. We're going to do it right now. Be very quiet. Let's see if we can find out. All right? Here we go. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to Lucas, please? Uh, Speaking. Hi there. My name is Cindy. I'm calling from Petals and Stems. We're a same-day delivery uh, flower service, and it's right here in Downey to local residents. Today we're offering a promotion of free roses that you can send anybody that you like. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not interested in any promotion. I'm I'm fine. Are I, you sure I, they're I absolutely really free? I really don't appreciate. I, look, I, I don't appreciate you calling me out of the blue. I'm I'm good. I don't want any sort of promotion you guys are offering. Are you sure there's nobody you want to send flowers to? No, absolutely not. There's not one special person in your life. I mean. They are absolutely free. I don't need cash. I don't need billing info. I don't need anything like that from you. We're just trying to promote our new, our new business. And if you're pleased with our arrangements, hopefully you like our service. But the, this will cost you nothing. Okay. So, I mean, I, I wasn't really listening when I picked up the phone. It just It's a dozen red roses. Again? It's a dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. Same day delivery. Okay. And, like, what are you guys getting out of, out of this deal? We just do this once a month. And hopefully if you like our arrangements, you come back as a customer. Or you tell your friends and family. Okay, and I don't have to pay anything? Nothing. We can just start with I'm the not, name of the person you want to send them to. I don't have to give you like my credit card information or, or anything that. like that? I'm... No. Okay, uh, what, do you, what do you need? Um, who would you like to send the flowers to? We can start with the note. Um, her name's Angel. It's spelled A-N-J-L. Oh, A-N-J-L. Okay. And what would you like to put on the card? Angel. Um, I'm sorry. What was that? Um, what would you like to put on the card? Um, Lucas. 
I'm just going. Is Angel. Yeah. Lucas, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. We have your wife on the line. I probably recognize her voice. And who is Angel, and why are you sending her roses? Wait, what, what the hell is going on? Why, right. why is my wife why, on the line? Why are you sending a woman named Angel well, I'm roses? here. I'm here, Lucas. Who is Angel? I've seen your post. Like, what is going on? I feel like the village so- idiot right now. I'm, I'm sorry. How, how, what, how did you figure it out? Oh, so you're, Not so figure what out? I, Wait, figure what out, Lucas? What, what are you, you talking about? about it? You just had to post it on Facebook to, like, embarrass me about your affair and how happy you are about it? Uh, everything I posted was anonymously. I didn't post anything publicly. Like, what? I don't know. Wait, not hold anonymous. On. Not Wait. anonymous. Didn't work. You had your notifications and you left your laptop open. I Wait. didn't go trying to find it. Let's not bury the headline. Lucas, you're having an affair with Angel. Just told us that. How long has it been going on? I mean. And who is she? I mean, I get. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's kind of a relief that I don't have to lie anymore. Oh my! Oh my I mean, gosh, I'm just. Sick. Are you serious? I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm just stunned about this whole thing. Oh, you're stunned. Um. Who is she? Bro? How about your wife? Who is she? Who is she? My. I don't that, that would be my girlfriend. How How were you even carrying this on? I I checked your location. I checked. You know everywhere that you've been. You haven't been anywhere. So are you lying about an affair? Or are you actually having one? No, there are apartments in the building. Um, he said what that's building? my girlfriend. In, in the building where my office is, there are apartments on the upper floors, and that's why my location always checked out. Oh my gosh! Okay, Lucas, well, then, how long has oh Angel gosh. been your girlfriend while you've been married here? Uh, a couple months. Why are you oh, answering all months. these questions on the air? Literally, and does Angel know I'm, about your wife? I mean, honestly, like like I said, it's kind of a relief not to have to like lie about this anymore. I mean, I've been caught, so I mean, you guys have obviously caught me, and so I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna dig myself a bigger hole. Like, <laughs> okay, I Lucas, mean, hold on one second. Zoe, hold on one second. I mean, what am I, I going to do? This, what am I going to do? I, I am stunned. Oh. Tubbs has just handed me a Facebook page, Married Men and Women Affairs. Look, this does happen. Oh, my god. All right, hold on. Let's come back. Tubbs, what is this now? Coming off of Ryan's Roses. Uh, so this is a Facebook page where married men talk about having affairs anonymously with women. The group is created for married men. Okay, we just came off of Ryan's Roses where the guy was on a page. He's cheating. He's having an affair with the girl that works in the, no lives in the building where he works. Right. And he was on one of these Facebook pages that Tubbs has just pulled up here. They probably make these because they carry so much guilt and shame that they need to, like, they talk ex- about they it, get, get it, it out. out. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I want to come back to this page. Tubbs, if I, can I borrow your computer for a sec? All right. Come back to Ryan's Roses. Lucas is cheating on his wife. And one other interesting thing. I have so much in my head. Yeah, there's a lot. One other interesting thing here is, so he admitted to it, and he was relieved by it. But wait, I never thought about someone lying about having an affair to get attention from their spouse. She thought maybe he was making that up. That was, I've never heard someone say that. All right, let's come back. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't make me feel cooler, but it really, like, it's a, vibes are high. Well, we just came off of a Ryan's Roses here at Kiss FM. So the dude was on a Facebook page, which is uh, a Facebook page where married men talk about having women, anonymously talk about having affairs with women. And so uh, Tubbs pulled up one of these pages. He admitted to it. He said he's been having an affair with a girl named Angel. It's his girlfriend. He admitted to it. And I'm looking at one of these pages, and it says, uh, you know, in the about block, Mm -hmm. in the about box, it says, this group is created for married men and women to discuss, learn, suggest ideas, offer solutions to numerous marital issues that are faced in various homes. Oh, so it's not just, it's not just that? How do I scroll down? Help me. Um, it's not just that, then. It's other things, too. Huh? I mean, what can, would you I, do without I, tubs? Can I read? Well, he's scrolling down for me. Can I read something? <laughs> exactly. uh, can I read some specifics? Hey, the other thing is, see, you have any testimonials we can read on the air there? Yeah. They're going to navigate that. The other thing that was interesting is his wife. Has anybody ever done this or discovered this? I'm curious. Call me. 805-201-27. She thought at the beginning that maybe he was making up the affair for attention. That's so dark. Whatever attention or just to get out of the marriage. 
Because it seems well, maybe like... Maybe because he, he was over it and he was relieved that this all came out. Yeah. But, but has anybody made up an affair to either get attention or get out of a relationship? I'm sure people have. Right. Well, who are you? And call me. 800-520-1027. Here's Angie, not to be confused with Angel, Lucas's girlfriend, while he was married. Angie and Pico Rivera. Go ahead. You're on with us. This is like the perfect example of a sociopath. In I mean... Textbook. Yeah, he thought he had the perfect little lie, the perfect situation. He posted on Facebook. What an idiot. I mean, she deserves but He wanted so to much get better. caught. Yes. The guy wanted exactly. to get caught. He just told us he was relieved that she found out. Mm-hmm. So he was waiting for this moment. Yeah, he's gross. She deserves better and ugh, I'm glad she found out. Yeah. So this Facebook, thank you Angie. I mean, it's just, it's been over for a long time. She's getting away from that guy. Exactly. The Facebook group is called the Secret Affair Group. Only members can see who's in the group and what they post. Only members. And there's 600 members. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, this is people just can't carry the guilt and shame and they need to just. And they just need to express it, mm-hmm. huh? That is so wild. In what they think is a safe place. Exactly. No. So that's Ryan's Roses. We do that every Monday, every Thursday. No shortage of emails that come in asking us to do it. 